a short lesson by the office expert. Hi, today we're going to learn a little bit about the subtotal function and what it can do. On the right here uh, are the codes that we're going to use for our subtotal function and on the left hand side I've prepared a spreadsheet that shows them in, in uh, application. So up here is the formula bar and I have a subtotal function here which I'm using code 9 for the first parameter for my function number. And 9 is, if we go over here and have a look, is actually the value for sum. So it adds up the range in question, which is C4 through C7, this range here. And it includes hidden values. So what does that mean? So what that means is, if you have a look at this function, I've used the 9. And this one, I've actually used the 109 so we can compare. I'm going to hide the Shiraz grape. We don't want to see it. Now notice that all these other values changed when I hid the Shiraz row, except for this one. Um, and that is because these values here, 1 through 11, actually include the hidden values. So even though we have three cells here, which add up to 19,750, our total is still including the hidden row. On these ones, on the other hand, if I highlight the three cells here, which add up to 19,700, it's, it's showing exactly what our displayed cells are showing, and it's ignoring, it's ignoring the hidden row. Okay, I'm just going to reinstate that row again, unhide. And as you can see, all of our values where I used the 109 uh, code number here, updated, whereas this one, uh, it just stayed statically, still showing the values. So it does make sense to use the 109 in my perception other than the, uh, the 9. So not using these codes with the hidden values. Okay, let's show you what um, the subtotal function does with filters. Uh, with filters, it doesn't matter whether you use this column or this column of the codes. It reacts exactly the same. I'm just going to change this back to a 9 and show you what I mean. So, in other words, it adapts to the filter. So, if I would like to show in the January column all the grapes that yielded over hmm, over maybe 5,200, or no, let's say 5,500. Okay, so I'll apply a number filter greater than 5,500. And right now we've got our um, three cells here, which equal 20,750. See how it adapted even though it was using the nine? That's just how it is with filters. Uh, regardless whether you use either of these codes, uh, it's not considered hidden if it is filtered out. It's only considered hidden if you hide a row. So, um, we have our six month total here, which is again only adding up the visible cells of the filter. Uh, our average here, um, I have used the 101 code, which is finding the average of the range in question. Range in question is C4 through C13. I have a lot of filtered out rows here, but it is ignoring the subtotal function and only giving me, if I have a look down here, it should be 6,917, and so it is. So it's only giving me the average of the filtered out values. Okay, I'm going to remove the filter and all of our values uh, are reinstated again and our subtotals are updated. Another really good thing about the subtotal function is that it ignores itself. So for instance, even though this says C4 through C13, which is this area here, it is ignoring the subtotal cells, so it ignores its, itself. I have a subtotal here, here, and here, 
and it's ignoring the fact that we have a subtotal there, which is fantastic. Um, subtotal can also be used for any one of these functions as well and it's very flexible and versatile and it gives you the flexibility to include, to choose between including hidden values or not. So it is a rather superior function. Thanks for listening.